example uh, from lecture number nine, uh, entropy generation. Uh, uh, first example is from the reference book. It is actually uh, the engineering thermodynamic by UV Rao. Calculate the entropy change between your entropy if one kg of water at 30 degrees centigrade is heated to 90 degrees centigrade at a constant pressure by placing a container on a hot plate. The specific heat of the water is 4.2 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. And let's see, read the second part as well. Uh, one kg of water liquid at 30 degrees centigrade is converted into superheated steam at one bar and 20 degrees centigrade. So we need to find the change in entropy for both of these cases. Uh, if I'm transferring heat from 30 degrees centigrade to 90 degrees centigrade, definitely it will be the temperature will rise and obviously there will be some entropy generation as well and the process will be irreversible so the process should be moved very slowly uh, that's what we have discussed in a previous lecture the, it should be a quasi equilibrium process so once it is a quasi equilibrium process it will be reversible process then and the we can use the equation which is the equation of the change in entropy and that is actually the s is equal to dq by t for a reversible process uh, as the process is constant pressure process as well it say like the at a constant pressure so at a constant pressure change in or heat transfer is equal to change in enthalpy as well so this is ds is equal to dh by t now and dh itself is equal to cp delta t uh, for water it is written as cp would be taken as uh, 4.2 kilojoule per kg calvin so putting 4.2 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and obviously the, the initial temperature and the final temperature, we can find the entropy change in entropy, which is equal to 0.7588 kilojoule per kg. This is the entropy chain. We did find the entropy chain using the equations or the uh, using the ideal gas equations. Uh, you can still find the entropy by using steam tables and you can find the entropy at entropy at 30 degrees centigrade and entropy at 90 degrees centigrade and you can find the entropy by uh, and compare that entropy with this this uh, value and you will let know like how much different it is the let's move to the second part the initial state is saturated liquid at 30 degrees centigrade and the final state is superheated steam at one bar and 20 degrees centigrade the process by which the change in a state took place would be not specified so let's let's move towards the 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 um, steam table then um, let me let me say over here as well like uh, we have been given the temperature we, but we have not been given any pressure so obviously using the steam table would be a little bit impossible over here so let's see like if we can solve it using any other method but yes the this method is actually been given uh, or in other words like there should be a pressure given as well let's uh, sorry let's move towards the state b as well the initial state is saturated liquid at 30 degrees centigrade and the final state is superheated steam at one bar and 20 degrees centigrade so we have been given the condition uh, at state one which is saturated liquid and 30 degrees centigrade and the second condition is the pressure is one bar and the temperature is 20 degrees centigrade using the steam table we can use the uh, steam table at 30 degrees centigrade the enthalpy hf which is enthalpy of the saturated liquid is 0 0.4365 kilojoule per kg kelvin and the at superheated steam at one bar and 200 degrees centigrade the entropy is 7.8349 kilojoule per kg now just putting the value and the change in enthalpy sorry sorry change in entropy would be equal to 7.3984 kilojoule per kg so this was this simple problem but if you have been given two condition you can change you can find the enthalpy sorry entropy from the steam table and entropy from the steam table was actually for this condition was this one and this one moving towards the next question the mass of 2 kg ethane gas at 500 kilopascal and 100 degree centigrade undergoes a reversible polytropic expansion with the exponent of 
to a final temperature of the ambient, which is 20 degrees centigrade. Calculate the total entropy generation for the process if the heat is exchanged with the ambient. So again, a simple problem, but simple problem uh, using the ideal gas equation and uh, entropy of the ideal gas. The entropy of the ideal gas is already been discussed in lecture number nine B. You can find on our YouTube as well. So for the energy balancing, uh, the change in internal energy would be equal to the heat transfer minus the work done. Uh, for the entropy, uh, change in entropy, there would be change in entropy of the system plus change in entropy of the surrounding or the entropy generation. So the total entropy change would be system and surrounding. So the system entropy would be dq by t and the surrounding entropy would be equal to the, the, the uh, entropy that would be generated. So the total entropy change would be the system and the surrounding. So moving towards the uh, solving the equation, the work done in a polytropic process is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by 1 minus N. So uh, also PV is equal to RT for the uh, for the ideal gas. So that we can write the this equation like RT2 minus RT1 1 minus N. So R for the uh, for the ethane can be found uh, using the tables and for r for the ethane is equal to 0 0.2765 uh, the t2 which is actually equal to 20 degree centigrade minus t1 which is equal to 373.2 uh, divided by 1 minus n and the total work done would be equal to 73.7 kilojoule per kg uh, the it is the positive work done as 1 minus 1.3 would be some negative value and you can get the positive work for, which is 73.7 uh, let me check like yes it is actually expansion so obviously the work done would be positive now the heat transfer would be equal to the change in internal energy plus the work done so the internal energy change would be equal to delta u would be equal to c cv delta t and cv for again ethane can be found using the tables uh, so q would be equal to CV delta T for the, the, the internal energy and the work done from 1 to 2. So CV for the ethane is 1.49 multiplied by the T2 minus T1 plus the, the, the work done which was which actually already we have found out as 73.7 kilojoule per kg. Uh, so the heat transfer come up as 45.5 kilojoule per kg and that is in negative. So that means like he's heat been lost from the system so now the total entropy change or the change in entropy would be equal to the entropy change of the system and entropy change of the surrounding so finding the entropy change of the system so entropy change of the system using the ideal gas equation which uh, I've already said like covered in lecture 9b uh, so the entropy change of the system would be CP log of T2 by T1 using the uh, equation 8.16 a CP log of T2 by T1 minus R log of P2 by P1. So, so that would be 1.766 log of CP as I've said like uh, CP value for the the uh, ethane is 1.66. Sorry, R was there. Sorry. Uh, so, 1.766 log of T2 by T1 minus R log of P2 by P1. Uh, we have a lot already. Uh, we haven't got p2 in this equation so p2 can be found out using the the ideal gas equation which is equal to p2 uh, by t2 raised to power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma so we can find out uh, the p2 from this equation using the, the above equation we can find the p2 divided by p1 which has already been given that is 500 kilopascal putting the value and you will get the answer which is actually equal to 0. Point 1371 so now the total entropy change would be the entropy change of the system and the entropy change of the surrounding so the entropy change of the system sorry the total entropy change of the system above multiplied by the mass which is actually 2 kg so the entropy change would be this one and the entropy change of the surrounding we have already lost heat to the surrounding 
which is minus 45.5 kilojoule per kg. So from the above thing, we can say like we have got minus, as we have said, like entropy change of the system, minus entropy change of the surrounding. So surrounding would be minus Q by T. Q is minus 45.5 divided by T of the surrounding, which is equal to 20 degrees centigrade, and that is 293.2. Multiply by with the mass and obviously the negative sign. So that is plus 2 multiplied by 45.5 divided by 293.2. So the total surrounding entropy would be equal to this much. So the total entropy generation would be the entropy change. So the total entropy generation would be the total entropy minus the system entropy. That would be the entropy change or the entropy generation. So the entropy generation is entropy total entropy change minus the entropy change of the uh, surrounding. So the net entropy change was this one minus the change in entropy of this one. So the total entropy change is plus 0 0.362, 0 0.0362. So 0 0.0362 is uh, more than the uh, or, or greater than zero. So that means like in any process that is the possible process.